Hi everyone, and welcome to a special lesson that's designed to help you conquer the hardest part of the IELTS exam. It's writing task two. About 90% of IELTS learners report that they struggle when they're writing a 250 word essay in only 40 minutes. So in this lesson, I'll show you how to write an answer to a very popular type of essay question for writing task two. It's causes and solutions. Don't forget to watch till the end of the video so that you don't miss any of the advice. All right, this lesson will have three parts. In part one, I'm going to introduce some general ideas about the causes and solutions essay. Part two will discuss the structure of the essay, and this is the part of the video to which you should pay the most attention. And finally, in part three, I'm going to give you some phrases that you can use to express your ideas in this kind of question. Okay, part one. Here I've got a task two question card. Let's analyse it. Topic one. Many teenagers are addicted to bubble tea, even though they know it's bad for their health. What are the serious problems associated with this? And what measures can be taken to solve these problems? Basically, a writing task 2 essay which discusses causes and solutions will contain one statement and two requests in which you address the causes or problems from the statement and suggest solutions. In this question card, the statement is many teenagers are addicted to bubble tea even though they know it's bad for their health. And the requests are to explain several problems with this phenomenon and ways that we could tackle it. The key words that help us to recognise the required format for this question are serious problems and measures. All right, topic two. The destruction of rainforests to create land for agricultural use is a serious problem. What are some of the common causes and what can be done to reduce them? To tackle this kind of question, here's an outline you could use. Introduction. You need to rewrite the statement into your own words using paraphrasing. However, important keywords might be kept to ensure the accuracy of the statement remains true to the original question. Body paragraph number one, well, this part is used to describe all of the causes. Body paragraph two, well, here you will show and explain some solutions. In your conclusion, you should shortly summarise what you've written before, restating your main opinion for emphasis. All right, now I'll show you a couple of phrases that will help you express your ideas using the outline today. Here we've got a writing task two question card. First, in your introduction, you should have about two sentences. Firstly, a background statement. It is true that, and you paraphrase the statement here. Another way to express the same idea is, it is undeniable that. Number two is your thesis statement. And there are numerous reasons, several reasons, a number of causes behind this trend, view, tendency or phenomenon. And several solutions should be done to tackle, improve this situation. Body one. In this part of the essay, you're expected to show the points about causes or problems. If your paragraph is a single idea one, you just need a main idea to start with. And if you have two or more ideas, your paragraph will need a topic sentence. For example, topic sentence. This issue might be attributable to two main reasons, causes, as several related problems can be anticipated. Idea one, the main challenge or the underlying cause is that. Idea two, another possible consequence or contributing factor is that. All right, now body paragraph two. Same as in body one. If you describe two ideas, you could start with some practical solutions are suggested to mitigate this problem. Idea one. A useful suggestion would be the best course of action would be to... Idea two. Another positive way to deal with is that the situation could be improved if... Finally, when we come to the end of the essay, we have the conclusion. And here I'll give you a sample that can be suited for almost all cases. In conclusion, there are various negative consequences of and acceptable steps that need to be taken to tackle these problems, problems and solutions. In conclusion, it's clear that there are various reasons for and steps need to be taken to tackle this problem. And that's the end of the video today.
I hope you found this session helpful in preparing you for your IELTS writing test. If you'd like to sign up for IELTS courses here at Lango, please click on the link below. These IELTS courses are designed to cater to your individual needs and to provide personalised learning pathways. Remember to like, share and subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell button to get notifications of our latest uploads. Once again, I've been Thomas, stay safe and I'll see you for the next video. Bye.